hi. Um, I was FaceTiming with Jade, and then I, like, looked up <laughs> at the time, and I was like, I gotta go. It's time to go live. <laughs> but hi, guys. Um, yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these. Um, and so we're doing it. And yeah, I made I made an actual thumbnail for the live stream because I was like, it's been a while, and maybe the if I make a pretty thumbnail, it'll draw more people <laughs> into watching it. So yeah, but hi guys, Lee is here as usual to take care of the snacks, the recycling, and all of that. Hi Jesse, so hi Lee, hi Jesse, Tara. Um, Allison, Alyssa, Alexis, Kate, Totoro. So the diamond painting is from Jada Gem Shop. Um, I have it linked down in the description, like this specific one. Um, so just check out the description box. It'll be there. But yeah, hi. Oh, my back. Okay, I'm going to drink my coffee. I've been good, Diana. Also, hi, Diana. I've been good. Um, how are you? And how are all of you guys? And yes, I, I still love my job so much. It's been great. I'm going to scoot myself closer. There we go. Yeah, I've been loving my job still. Um, and in a, how long until I hit a year? I'm opening my calendar. One, two, three. And in a month, it'll be a year since I started, which is insane. Well, um, okay, a year since, like, my official hire on date in November, but I didn't, like, actually start working, like, at the park until, like, beginning of December. But Disney counts your years based on um, a specific date. I think it's, like, when you first get your email saying, like, hey, congrats hi cooter i love you i love you actually yes hold on i need to like update mods and by update i just mean add oh how do i do this again give me one second a specific date. oh don't don't want to i don't want to hear myself there we go <laughs> okay let me fix that what Oh my god, this new moderator types. Hold on, give me a sec. Imaging. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And then. Perfect. There you go. Hi, Amber. All right. Now we're. Okay, there we go. Um. Oh, curious what size you went for this with this one. Oh, I got a 60 by 90 centimeter. So basically, um, I decided to try um, a round drill kit from Jade and to also try going with um, the recommended size that she had for this specific image. Um, so for every single diamond painting that she lists on her shop, she um, has... A, a, at least one size um, that she like recommends based off of the rendering and it, it, essentially the I think her recommendation is usually based off of like which size um, gives you the best like quality of the image while also not being too big and so 60 by 90 um, is what she recommended I think for both the round and square drill kit at least for the rounds I know for sure and I wanted rounds so I got that and I'm obsessed <laughs> I'm obsessed with how it, with how it looks so far um it looks like really good on um when I take a picture of it um I took oh hold on I sent it to Jade where is it oh oh that's right okay I don't know if you'll be able to see this that well. I'll flip it around. But, like, look how... this is That's a photo of it so far, taken, like, from a few feet back on my phone. 
That looks so good. And it's round. I really like the round um, with this image, at least the art style, because it like gives it a softened look. And I'm obsessed. And Jade has this kit in squares. Um, and so when she eventually works on hers, we're going to compare just to see how they look. So I'm really excited to see the difference. Right, Diana? Time does go by really fast. It's insane. I bought the 50 by 75 in square and it looks great too. I think that makes sense. You went one size up for round. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think, oh yeah, and Jade has the 50 by 75 in square and that's essentially going to be look similar in rendering between the square and rounds. So that'll um, really help in the comparison. Yeah, Kate, yeah. Um, Jade, sorry, I, I've lost my train of thought. Jade does <laughs> usually recommend um, to go at least one size up if you get it around drills, which I feel like it kind of balances out because squares definitely take longer to work on compared to rounds. So if you get a round in a bigger size um, than if you were for squares, at least for me, it makes sense because it probably take around the same amount of time to work on. I don't know if that made sense, but yeah. <laughs> you love my 50 placer? <laughs> Thanks, Tara. <laughs> I'm, I love this thing so much. I forgot if I have it linked down where I got it from. Hi, Jenny. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Thank you, Cooter. Okay, Kate. Sorry. Yeah, I don't tell me if it keeps happening. I don't know what I could do on my end, but YouTube likes to be dumb. Hi, Ashley. Yay, Allison. Welcome. Feel free to just relax and hang out. I always, like, mess up my multi-placing, like, in a miraculous way whenever I go live. It's just inevitable. But, let's see. What's been going on with me? Um... I've been, like, while I was taking my break from making videos, I've been focusing on improving my physical health, so I've been eating a lot better. Um, yeah, I, I just, for my physical health, I was like, I had a, like, a, a weight loss goal in mind, but the main goal for me was just to eat healthier and just take better care of my body, and so... So far, I've just been eating healthier foods and not just, like, fast food. <laughs> um, ignore the Starbucks. That's a treat. But, um, but yeah, and I haven't, like, added any exercise um, into my life other than work because, as you guys know, what I do for work, um, it's very, um, <laughs> it's a very physically demanding job. So, um, that usually counts for my workout and so as a result since I think I started in July and I've lost um 25 pounds which I'm very proud of um and yeah so I want to my next I think I'm, I'm 140 right now so my next goal to get to hopefully in December I'll get to that is um, to get to 135. I'm trying. I'm trying to take it very slowly so that I don't um, lose weight at an unhealthy rate. So I basically just lose a little weight and then I let myself just um, like I, I've been enjoying some Halloween candy and some treats and letting myself just stay like at a what's it like. Like, I'm not gaining or losing. I'm just staying stagnant for a little bit. Um, and then after that, I'm like, okay, let's keep going and just see what happens. So, yeah, that's been <laughs> what's going on with me. <gasps> Cooter, you should kit it up right now and work on it with me. 
I also suck at multi-placing rounds, so maybe it's not me. Maybe it's the drill's fault. <laughs> it only happens when I try to go up to the highest resolution for some reason. Okay, that's weird. Thank you, Kate. Wait, well, <laughs> thank you, Lee. You're sweet, but yeah, no, I, I needed to. I just was feeling so lethargic and exhausted all the time. And I want more opportunities at my job because you kind of have to fit into whatever you want to wear, um, like whatever clothes you want to wear if you want to do certain things. So just, yeah, but <laughs> hopefully I can get more um, opportunities soon. Thank you, Cooter. Thanks, Jenny. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Um, but yeah, I was on like FaceTime with Jade for like a solid, like, like an hour and a half before I went live with you guys. And that's how, you know, you have a good friend or like a really close friend when you call them on the phone or FaceTime them and you blink and like, it's been like two hours and you're like, how did this happen? <laughs> But what are you guys working on? I would love to know. Um, yeah. Oh, and then if you guys are curious as for the... So you're looking at the artwork upside down right now. But um, the part that I'm working on is... Oh, I know. I'm working on Sonic the Hedgehog right now. Um, you can't might not be able to see it that well, but on the image that I have on the screen um you'll see like a blue hedge sonic the hedgehog plushie on the middle left hand side I'm working on that right now I just realized that <laughs> um I did a lot of stuff also today like productive stuff um I got up and I um Went to Starbucks, had my, okay, I had Starbucks twice today, but that's fine. Um, I had my coffee and I had um, some coffee cake and um, and then I cross-stitched and I'm working on a cross-stitch pattern for Spencer as I showed in my last video. And let me guys, let, let me know if you want to see it right now, like see the progress that I've made on it because I can pull that out. But I worked on that, and then um, I drove my car to the Toyota dealership because I wanted to get my oil changed. Like, it's, it's time for that. And luckily, the dealership that I took my car to um, is, like, less than a mile away from my house. Um, so I dropped off the car and just, I cross-stitched while walking home. I don't know how I did that, but I managed to cross-stitch while walking and I didn't die. So <laughs> I didn't trip over my feet and I didn't walk into oncoming traffic. So that's good. So I walked home and then I played some, um, of Alien Isolation, the video game. Really fun. And then, at that point, um, the dealership really tried to upsell me on some recommended services. I have a PD. I, I took a screenshot of the PDF of what they sent me to try to get me to pay. But I went in for something that was going to cost, like, less than $130. Because it, it wasn't I, – I when I got there, I decided I wanted them to also um, – do a couple other things on my car, just like maintenance stuff. Um, I can't remember all of it. It's like check the tire pressure and like adjust my brake pedals and stuff like that. But um, what else? Oh, so that was going to cost like, I think it's like $126 after all that stuff. And it was a bunch of stuff all together. They called me and they're like, hey, we checked out your car. It looks good. We just have some recommended services that we'd like to offer you. It was like three things. 
they wanted me to pay an extra $1,400 for all those things. And I was like, no. And they were like, I said, I said like, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm going to have to pass on that today. And they're like, okay, no worries. Can we ask why? And I was like, I would like to not give you $1,400 today. And they're like, well, if it's, if it's pricing, then like we can definitely like negotiate that. And I was like, no, I'm good. And they were like, well, for the spark plug, because that was one of the things that they wanted me to pay for. For the spark plug, like, yeah, that definitely does need to happen today. But for the other stuff, since your car is a hybrid, if we don't fix um, your hybrid stuff, um, your car might not work anymore. And I'm like, oh, man, that would suck. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so and then the guy gave up. He was like, okay, no, I'm not going to get money from her. So... Then he was like, well, your car is ready. And I'm like, great. Thank you. I'm going to come walk all the way over there now. So that's what happened. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. Let me catch up on chat. Ashley. Oh, you're working on Sakura Festival. That was my first diamond painting on my channel. I hope you're loving it. Jessie's working on Witch House. Allison's trying to finish her Chuck Pinson for her coworker. Oh, you're almost done. Oh, like dangling off the screen. Cute. Yeah, Sonic is just hanging there. <gasps> Sky is here. I love Sky. And yes, I'll pull out my cross stitch in a second. My favorite TV show. Um, I have a really hard time like picking a favorite TV show, but um, I really like Breaking Bad. I really like that show when I watched it earlier this year. Jade's here. Hello, Jade. I cross-stitched while walking. Yeah, I did. I'm extra. <laughs> Hello. I don't trust them when they do that. No, yeah. And also, it's funny. It turned out the dealership that I was at was the same dealership that Katie went to. And they tried to get her to pay, like, I don't know, like $5,000 for something ridiculous. And I'm like, no. Okay, I'm going to get my cross-stitch so I can show you. Also, I'm wearing my turning red shirt. What does this guy say on the back? Oh, it says, so freaking adorable on the back. This is a crop top sweater thing, but I don't like wearing clothes that like expose my stomach. So I got this in like a really large size. What size did I get it in? I got it in an extra large. <laughs> So I was like, I don't want my tummy exposed. What the heck is happening here? Bro. Oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry, I have like a parked thread. So let me just fix that. There we go. Okay. Here it is. I, I, got, a, I got a goose. We have a goose hanging out now. So... I decided to, I have to just verbally explain it because I don't want to point and like crumple it up, but um, I'm going to hold up the goose a little closer. There's a goose. But I decided to work all the way down to the bottom of this goose and then I'm not going to go any further below the goose and I just want to fill in the rest of the pattern above before I go any further down because I don't like having the pattern like done and like patches like that I like to fill it in all the confetti and everything but yeah that's my progress on that it's definitely not going to be a Christmas gift because it's just nope not happening <laughs> oh you're working on where the fun never ends Totoro that's cool faces of fairy 17 I don't remember I don't remember which one that one is but that's cool I don't like wearing them either yeah Ashley it's just no thanks. <laughs> I want to be comfortable when wearing clothes, not worry about my stomach rolls popping out. Nope, same, Ashley. Same thing. Or same here. <sighs> but, yeah. Oh, and then when I got home from getting my car... 
I cleaned up a bit and then I vacuumed and by vacuum I turned on my um, Roomba and not watched it vacuum for me while I talked to Jade on the phone and then I was gonna mop but then I was like no I'm gonna actually go live instead <laughs> oh and I got my flu shot yesterday and I was expecting to feel like crap today I only felt like crap yesterday so yeah I love the goose thank you sky geese goose sky I love you I hope you're doing well I say that as if I wasn't texting you earlier today. <laughs> but yeah, well, so I'm working on the background and it looks like I'm working on the background and Sonic at the same time. And that's also another thing that I love about working on this kit is um, like working on a, a section and having a not really knowing like what part I'm fully working on until I finish and I step way back and I'm like oh that's so cool and I told Jade that I ha I'm having to restrain myself from buying the other two um Medusa the doll maker tarot card kits that she has in her shop it's um cosmic lover and I forgot what the other one was called, but it's the witch one. I don't remember. I mean, that's technically vacuuming. You're right. <laughs> Ooh, does it actually mop the floor, Jenny? Or is it like, does it do both? Because if I can get one that mops the floor too, I'll be all set. Yeah, I'm just so lazy when it comes to cleaning especially vacuuming um so i'm good about cleaning our bathroom because like if especially when the toilet gets nasty i'm like no no we gotta clean that or in the shower and stuff like that um but with our cats man they're just they shed like no tomorrow especially blaze he sheds so much and it's white fur so you just see it everywhere like it get, it's it's nasty and so if you don't stay on top of it, it gets really gross and there's just hairballs, just little presents everywhere. It's not like they're coughed. They're not coughed up hairballs. That's not that gross. It's just fluff that just, oh, I'm sorry. It's just fluff that flies through the air and they just find each other and they just come together and they just like float to the ground in piles. And I'm like, how? It's been two days since I vacuumed. So... That's that's a one perk, I guess, of having cats. And I'm sure it's especially worse if you have dogs and dogs that um, shed easily. It's probably the same struggle that we deal with with the cats. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it's nasty. And then um, we also hate doing the litter box, but we take turns doing that. But for Spencer for I can't remember if I want to oh, I gotta order it soon but I can't remember if I'm gonna get this for him for our anniversary like his anniversary gift or his birthday but I'm getting us a litter robot um so I think he'll really like that because he hates doing the litter box um like of course he'll do it but he hates doing it <laughs> so um yeah so hopefully he'll like that and I know I, I've never used one before, but I heard that they are a real lifesaver. I'm struggling hard because my wish list on Jade's site is over $1,000 and I can't buy any of them right now. No! I need to go through and see what, like, redo my wish list and see how much my wish list for Jade's shop is, as well as Diamond Art Club's because it'd probably be like a million dollars. Kenneth and I are about to do Sudoku puzzles together like true elderly people. <laughs> wow. You're like, I missed living with him. Let's do Sudoku. 
That's cute, though. I cannot pick up my brother's cat without taking a part of her with me. <laughs> it's like they just want to make sure that you that your clothes tell the whole world that you have a cat, or at least you live with a cat. She has two of the vacuum ones and one of this mopping one. That's cool, Jenny. Maybe I won't. Oh, I don't need one because I have a cool mop already, but if I could just like have a robot do everything for me, that'd be nice. Did you know that if you get the latest COVID booster and your, your insurance doesn't cover it, you have to pay 130 out of pocket? What? Allison, that's ridiculous. $130 for a COVID booster shot? No. What? That sucks. See, I got my flu shot, and I'm going to get my COVID booster shot for free through Disney. So thanks, Disney. <laughs> yeah, when I went in, sorry, my neck. <laughs> my neck um, loves to get very stiff. No, um, when I went in at work to, um, or yesterday, I went into Disneyland, which is my workplace, to get my shot. It was really easy. I literally went into the grand californian hotel and they had one of the hotel conference rooms all set up for the shots and i just checked in and they just stabbed me with a needle and i was on my way and they got some lemon water from it and then my arm immediately started hurting afterwards and i was like "Ooh, yeah that's not that's not fun My fear is that I'd get one of those awesome litter robots and my cats would be terrified of it and refuse to use it. If Blaze is scared of the litter robot, I'm going to cry because those things are not cheap. Um, I've watched a few videos on how they work and essentially there's like a sensor where, because you can have it set up where you set a timer on it for how long, like in between, or like if the, your cat uses the robot uses goes to the bathroom you can set a timer for how long the robot waits until it starts doing the scooping thing and um and then it has a sensor for if your cat decides to go inside the the litter robot while it's scooping it'll stop so i think blaze won't be too scared of it but if he is oh my god i'm gonna cry I'd be like well, now we need two litter boxes Henry gets the robot and Blaze gets the one that doesn't make any noise. <laughs> I like the Tineco? Tineco? Oh, okay. I wonder if, like, litter robots have, like, a, a warranty where it's just, like, if your cat rejects the robot, you can return it. I feel like that'd be a good a good warranty to invest in. Tomorrow is, because today is like my Sunday, so tomorrow of course is my Monday, so I start my work week again, and um, I usually work at um, the dining locations, pr primarily the Storytellers Cafe one, which is the character dining at um, the Grand Californian Hotel, and I, I basically like live there at work so it's like my nice comfort zone but the last time I was there it was not a good day for any anyone there it was I'm sorry I'm gonna adjust that no we're gonna fix that we need the lighting to not look too bad okay um it was a pretty rough day just because for a myriad of reasons but um a guest tried to fight me? I don't know why. They tried to pick a fight with me. <laughs> or sorry, they, they, they tried to pick a fight with one of my friends. 
Why would you want to do that? Like, girl, eat your eggs. Eat your scrambled eggs. Sit down. I'm I'm gonna be on my merry way. But don't 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 try to fight me. <laughs> we use the wood pellet litter because it's healthier than the clay litter and cheaper. But I don't think you can use that in the robot. Oh, okay. This isn't what we're used to. <laughs> yeah, Kate, I don't know. People are weird. It was a teenager, of course, so. But I'm like, please don't try to fight me. But other than that, work's been great. <laughs> um, yesterday was the was Disney's like official 100th anniversary, and of course I wasn't at work. <laughs> I'm just at home. Yeah, and then what else? I don't think anything else is really going on. I'm kind of just like, I go to work and then I'm like a hermit. But like, I guess the other day I did get to, um, I need to drink some water too so I don't get dehydrated. But I did um, hang out with a bunch of my work friends like after work the other day. And that's like a really nice thing about um, working at Disneyland because like you can just get off of work and if you're not too exhausted, you can just go into downtown Disney or in the actual parks and hang out with friends afterwards. But usually, myself included, but my friends are just so, <laughs> we're always so exhausted after work that we're just like, bye, <laughs> we go home and sleep. Like, eat dinner and then sleep. But um, a couple days ago, we all had the energy to go hang out. And we sat down. And some people, like, got actual food. And some, some of us, myself included, just ate chips and salsa. And we just talked. <laughs> and it was nice. Because it was, like, a really big group. It was, like, 11 of us that... Um, that hung out and we haven't it was like a nice group a nice mixture and it was it was also nice because it was just one of those groups where we felt comfortable to vent with each other and so it was like a nice therapy venting friend group session and that was fun because like i haven't done that in a little while and it was and it was like one of those nice things because it was like one of those situations where like you're with one of your work friends and you're like hey do you like want to get like starbucks together after work and you're like yeah and then one of you invites another person and then that person invites another friend and then before you know it like two different groups are meeting up together and so it was one of those situations so that was really nice because it just felt very natural and um like spontaneous and those are the best types of meetups i think i love you jade and that's okay yeah they suck <laughs> right kate i'm trying not to burp but you know when the burps happen they happen oh i forgot to post that i was live whoops hold on Sorry, give me a second. Um, who is live? Oh, okay. Here, I'll post here. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> Copy link.
there we go. 30 minutes into the live, I'll like put it on Sophie's Discord. Um, let's see. I've been so bad about like keeping tabs on like the diamond painting stuff that's been going on. Um, the most recent thing that um I've been aware of is all of the people in the um DAC VIP group complaining about um Diamond Art Club getting rid of um their cover minders. <laughs> And I just love seeing people complain about any change whatsoever, which don't get me wrong. I also can be adverse to change, but it's funny seeing people get up, get up in arms over a cover minder being taken away. That's what happens when you put a whole bunch of crafters in a Facebook group who are very passionate about niche things like cover minders because good, good god if you take those cover minders away we're going up in arms there will be war there will be blood <laughs> someone has to pay who will pay for the removal of these cover minders They just have no idea all the wonderful things that will be coming their way. But Kate, it's change, and we don't like change. We don't want the nice things. We want to stay in our safe space and not stray away from it. <laughs> also, I'm curious about the new um, plastic cover that Diamond Art Club is implementing. Like, that's going to be cool. Your children and your children's children will pay for this. Right? Is it Liana? Am I saying that right? But yeah. I hope I hope that they're really like useful. Did you guys buy anything on the new Diamond Art Club drop? this week I sure didn't because I'm trying to be smart and save my money I'm not that sounded like I was better than that sounded like I was trying to say I'm better than you guys if you if you bought something I'm just trying to be smart with my money and just save because I have one more car payment to do and after that I officially own my car and I I'm just trying to be smart but if you bought a kit, it's fine. I might be a little jealous. <laughs> and by might, I mean definitely am jealous. <laughs> but I don't think any of the kits... Because I watched Sky's Roundup videos, which thank God she's doing those again. Because otherwise, I would have to like open Instagram and like find Diamond Art Club and like look. And I'm like, that's too much work. I'd rather watch a 12-minute video. Of, of my friend reacting to them. Has anyone done Cosmic Trip from DAC? Which one's that one? I haven't. <laughs> if they want cover minder so bad, they should go buy all the current in stock paintings. Exactly, Cooter. Oh, that's cool, Liana. My aunt, I think Liana. I'm gonna, you know what? Your new name is Liana. I hope that's how we say your name because if not, it's gonna take a while for my brain to relearn <laughs> how to say your name. Oh man. Oh, I shouldn't. I'm gonna close. Hold on. What if perfect? I like the thumbnail I made. It's cute. Jade was out. Like I said, I was on, I was FaceTiming Jade and I was making the thumbnail while FaceTiming with her. Um, 
and like halfway through making the thumbnail i was like i don't even know if i want to make the thumbnail <laughs> i was i got lazy like two minutes into making the thumbnail but then i was like no finish it also i don't know if you guys like watching floss tube but um oh cute i see why i didn't close it so i can link things um i don't know if you guys like watching floss tube which is for those of you who may not know it's the cross stitch youtube videos no i don't want to hear my voice okay there we go um katie's here oh i am pronouncing it right thank god because otherwise we would not be pronouncing it any other way <laughs> um it's the one with the astronaut and a galaxy which one okay i gotta look it up now okay hold on let me finish my thought because i will get distracted in like a million different ways but i have a, a viewer of mine her name's sabrina and she earlier this year started um her own youtube channel um called sabrina's crafting corner and she does um floss tube stuff and she um i am obsessed with all of her whips that she's been doing so here's her channel um she is cross stitching like her, she's doing a really large whip where it's um all i think she's doing all of the um mandy benzano creatively crafting um mini princess panels and she's doing it on one gigantic ca canvas and it's so good and yeah so if you guys are interested you should check her out and subscribe and tell her that i sent you <laughs> okay Hi, Katie. I love you. I don't watch people floss their teeth. You're so funny, Katie. You are the most funny person I've ever talked to. <laughs> I'm going to go look up what, whatever that diamond painting is called. What was it called? Cosmic Lover? Cosmic? I need to... Frick. What was it called? Cosmic Trip. All right. Oh, Diamond Art Club's doing a golden ticket thing? Great. I don't want to look at that. Oh, this one. I, I've never seen this one before in my life. That's really pretty. It looks very similar to um, Splatter Alien, that partial kit. I did that one like 2021, I think. That's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of like Lisa Frank with like a, I can't think of like whatever combination I'm thinking of, but it has rainbows. That's so cute. Here, Leon, Leon, oh, <laughs> I forgot how to see your name. Leanna, let me pull it up for you. It's my friend Sky, the hobbyist player. Ah, I almost lost, I almost, <sighs> you know, it's fine. I, you guys aren't here for the professionalism. There you go. Have, have a ball with that. Perfect. Okay, anywho. Am I done with this color? No, I'm not. I sure am not. Perfect. I love the feeling when you pick up a drill and the drill falls off, but you don't realize that the drill didn't fall off your pen. So you're just dealing with your pen being empty and then you're embarrassed, even though no one cares and you know, I'm not making any sense, but it's fine. Anyways, have a ball. That's for you, Liana. Liana, I forgot how, forgot which way you actually pronounce the name. Already. Yay, coffee is helping. No problem. <laughs> um... I'm tired. I'm not tired. I have coffee. I'm just, I feel, I feel weird. I feel good, but I feel weird. It's probably the coffee. It's probably the coffee making my brain go haywire. Um, let me see. At one point, I was like wondering if I wanted to like ever do, like try out doing floss tube videos but here's the thing i feel like if i did floss tube videos 
it'd be the shortest video, like Fossey video ever, because I am a monogamous crafter where with like I'll have multiple crafts that I work on. But and I guess right now the only crafts that I do are diamond painting and cross stitch. But whenever I'm working on um, one of my hobbies, I do things one at a time, one project at a time. So if I did floss tube, it would literally just be like, hey, guys, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to show you my whip. Here it is. Here's the before and after. Um, I didn't buy any more patterns this week. And um, yep, I'll see you guys in a week. I'm sure there'd be a little more to it. But that'd be essentially it because I don't have, I don't want, and I would really try to not have like a million whips like some people because I like to see progress happen. And I feel like I would get so stressed out, like stressed out very easily if I have like 30 whips with diamond painting and or cross stitch. And I just, yeah, that would be stressful for me. And if you guys cross stitch or diamond paint and have a million whips, no shade to you whatsoever. I just wouldn't be able to do that. I don't know how people do that, but you do whatever makes you happy. And what makes me happy <laughs> is working on one project at a time because I like seeing finishes because if I don't finish things, then I hate myself <laughs> afterwards. Help me decide what Muni made colors to buy. <laughs> All of them. God. Oh, I, oh my God. On Muni Maid's shop, I was looking earlier and I need to show you because one of Muni's new kits, I don't know how long it's been there. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so obsessed with it. I'm going to link it to you guys. It is called Albino Mermaid by Kiko Wa. Please look at this because I want it so bad, but it's $80 and it's no shade to Muni. It, it's worth the price, but I don't want to spend $80 right now. <laughs> but please look at it. It's so beautiful. The pastels, the mermaid, the bathtub, everything. I love it. It's so beautiful. I get overwhelmed if I have too many whips too. Yes, same. And I like seeing progress. The shade about whips. It's no shade. It's just my opinion. <laughs> I hope over 50 whips does not stress me out. Almost all DP, but two cross stitch. That's good, Cheryl. I just, I don't know. Because here's the thing. I also like... I don't know how you, Cheryl, kit, kit up your diamond paintings, or at least, I don't know if it was for, yeah, okay, for your diamond paintings. I don't know how you are able to have, like, that many storage options for your diamond paintings, unless you work in baggies, but, like, I don't have the space for that, <laughs> unless there's, like, a way to have a million whips and still manage your space. I don't know, but I live in a one-bedroom apartment, so it would get chaotic real fast. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am so tempted by that kit and the other one by the artist. It's so pretty. Tiffany, hello. Hi, Kat, Kazuku. Good night, Jenny. It's so pretty. I want that kit so bad. I want it so bad but I'm not getting it because I have self-restraint. I can manage to not buy every single diamond painting that I want whenever I want it. It's okay. There's so many Muni made paintings I want, but I'm on a no buy. I also have six whips, but I should be wrapping two of them up this week, including maybe one tonight. Congrats. Congratulations. That's always a good feeling, wrapping up your whips. 
I think also for me, I like to have one project at a time because as you know, with the video style that I do, um, we would never see videos <laughs> if I had a million whips because I want to, I like finishing my kits in my videos so that I can show you guys what they look like. I hate baggies have to go into containers. Cheryl, I am with you on that. Baggies, I cannot do. I, I did it when I first um, started diamond painting and then I quickly realized that that was a pain in the butt. I was like, no thanks, never again. Tiffany, how much have I missed? Um, I've been live for five hours. No, I'm kidding. Not much. I was the one who went live and then was like, oh yeah, maybe I should, <laughs> should post my link like 30 minutes into the live. So you're good. Um... So Kate, I think like I go in, okay with like deciding on my next projects. Um, last year, I had like a spreadsheet where I would kind of plan out what kits I wanted to work on, and I think nowadays, um, at least with Gamer Girl, I wanted to do that because like I was like I want to do it. <laughs> I feel like working on it. Um, but usually I decide on the kits that I'm working on solely depending on like the time of year. Um, so my next one, and I hopefully I'll finish this one before October is over, but the next one is definitely gonna be a Halloween kit. I have to work on at least one Halloween or autumn-esque themed kit. Um, but usually like time of year, seasons, holidays, um, and then I have all of my whips on my um, on my Google Keep, and so that's also nice because I can like scroll through my Google Google Keep and like have a visual reminder of which kits I have. And so, if it's like if it's like August, for instance, which is like there's not really a clear theme when you think of August, really, at least for me. I'll just like pull up my Google Keep and just scroll and just be like, which one looks like it wants to be worked on? And then I just go for it. Oh yeah, CAD. I think, I think paint gem kits are, um, I think those are like the better, I guess, those are the kits that I would probably use the baggies for just because they're so small and it'd be kind of, I don't say pointless to kit it up, but like, it'd be like, I don't know, probably just easier to just use the baggies, especially if you take the paint gem kits like with you on the go. Cause then you could just fit all the baggies in the box that it came in. Let's see. Okay, of course, as usual, I missed a color, so I gotta fix that. But yeah, so, do you guys do the same thing where you finish, or at least you think you finished a color in the section that you're working on, and then you put it away and you realize that you yeah, missed a couple? I just stab my pen in there and pull them out. Come on. There we go. No, Kate, to, same thing, same here. I like to stealth participate in d diamond painting events as well. Like, I stealth participated in Summer with the Masters. Um, I think last year I, no, I didn't stealth participate in claws, pause and claws, claws and pause, whichever one, <laughs> whichever way is you're supposed to say it. Um, and then, sorry, my nose is itchy. And I don't know if I'll be able to, stealth participate in drills and chills, but yep. <laughs> I'm 
my paint gem kits are what I take when I travel. Yeah, th those definitely are perfect for travel, for sure. Then knowing me, I'd be like, let's take my giant Jada Gem Shop kit with me on the plane. I love the term stealth participating. <laughs> Same. Ooh, Katie, yes. Oh my God, Katie, you gotta work on it. And then when you finish it, you gotta like, if, when you next time you go to Disneyland, you gotta take it with you into the park so that you can show Loki at Avengers Campus. That'd be really cool. You can film his reaction. I have a Jada Gem Shop kit of Chippendale and I wanna work on it and then show it to Chippendale and get their reactions on camera. That'd be cute. I don't enter them officially, but I use the tags with my whip updates on social media. Oh, nice. I did it constantly when I was working on a kit. Oops, missed one. <laughs> I like to mentally participate in them, which means I don't follow any of the rules or do anything. You're just like in your head. Yep, I sure am aware that this <laughs> that this event is happening. Okay. Oh, I love how this is looking. Next, I'm going to do the swirly symbol. Hi, Madison. This one was a stealth participate, too. <laughs> Ooh, see, look at that. I Look how straight that... There we go, that's better. Question about Diamonds and Disney. If it's still happening still, does it need to be a new start? I can't remember from last year. I'm still debating if we're if I'm doing that this year. It's going to be if I do do it, it's going to be very chill. So much more chill than last year. Um but definitely doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter because if I do decide to do it again, um or I guess we cuz it's Kyle and I. Um it's just going to be um more of a what's it called? Less of an event, more of a like monthly theme, like a diamond paint along thing. So it's not going to have any giveaways or anything. So like really no requirements whatsoever. And it doesn't have to be diamond painting. It can be any craft related thing. That way more people can participate. And that way it's not stressful for anyone, hopefully. So really no expectations attached to it. Um, so I think I might still do that because I don't know how like people who host events do it I don't know how they do it where they have giveaways and all that stuff and and they do it all by themselves because oh my god no <laughs> too stressful oh wait is that not on her shop did she only get that from me Okay, hold on. I'll have to show you guys then. Madison, I'm working on a round drill kit from Jade, and I really like it. No problem, Cad. And in case you need a reminder, it'll be during the month of December if um, if it does happen. Exactly, Kate, and I still need to draw you my thing. <laughs> It is, Kat. It's so stressful. I don't know how Katie does it. Katie and Lindsay. Just anyone who hosts it, but Katie especially just because um, I've, you know, been to her house many a time and have seen in person, like, the stressors that are just involved with it. And I'm like, oh, no, that's too much. Too much stress. For 
an event about crafting. <laughs> Which, Katie, I'm not trying to minimize any of your stress stressors about your events because your stress is completely valid. I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. I know you. I know you're so non-judgmental. I just feel bad, but I'll try not to. Hi, Nix. I'll be right across the street from Disney in a couple of weeks, sadly. Oh. Well, hopefully, I mean, downtown Disney is still really fun to check out, and the shops have really cool stuff right now. And if you're there still in October, they'll still have the October merch. So that'll be fun. Okay. Let's see. Boop. Boop. And do. I have a silly question. Do you guys care that the part that you're seeing me work on is upside down or do you not care? Because you're not really looking and you're just working on your own whip and just listening to me. <laughs> you forgot Chloe? Huh? Chloe, you didn't tell me this, Tiffany. You got a text? Okay. Hold on, I gotta text you. Before I forget, who? Oh, hold on. Sorry, Spencer texted me and need to respond. Also, Tiffany, why are you not there at Disney? <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Jellyfish Art. Hello. You don't care? Yeah, I figured. Yeah, Totoro, same here. Sometimes I work on my stuff upside down, depending on whichever orientation the canvas works better with my setup. Oh, nice, Madison. I fat fingered everything. That's okay. But thank you for asking because I did a short recently that was upside down and wondered the same thing. I think maybe for like things where like you're filming for like the satisfying time lapse portion, people might like it more right side up, but I think for I think for things like this, people may care less. Exactly, Nix. That just means you gotta Nix, that just means that you gotta come back to do a solely for a Disney trip. It's cool upside down. Jade's like, whatever. Okay, cool. Thanks, Lee. Katie, are you obsessed with my, how pretty I am? <laughs> I, can, I can type, right? Wait, hold on, sorry. Oh, you'll be there in February? That's fun. Yeah, and I only ask this types of, like these types of questions that seem like silly 
just because like and you guys probably don't see these comments but I, I get comments about like it hasn't happened in a while but I got like a few comments of people being like weirdly judgmental about things in my videos like someone got upset with me because I did a diamond painting that was round and they were like your drills aren't straight and I was like okay <laughs> thank you like or um it, it's just like really silly things like that so then it makes me think like do people actually like care <laughs> or are people just being silly little geese you go there Oh, no problem, jellyfish. I'm just, it sucks you have to work on homework, though. See, I don't miss I don't miss college and homework. I don't miss any of that stuff. When I was um, walking back to my um, to my apartment from dropping off my car at the dealership, I like walked by um, an elementary school and it was like right during lunchtime. So they're all outside having lunch and stuff. And internally, I just looked up at them, and I'm just thinking, ha ha, you guys are trapped in there, <laughs> and I'm out here cross-stitching while walking home. I'm very mature, by the way, in case you guys didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Next. Yeah, exactly, Lee. I never said I was perfect, Susan. <laughs> right, Cad? No, exactly, Jesse. Oh, jellyfish. Well, good luck. Obviously, these people are perfect and do everything with 100% preciseness. Exactly. You're right, Jesse. Sounds so fun. What's fun? Oh no, I forgot what I was gonna say. Or what I was saying. I forgot what we were talking about. Exactly, Lee. I get comments about how I organize. Or Jade gets comments about how she organizes. People just need to like, mind their business. If it's not hurting them. Oh, Jade, remind me, Jade. Hopefully one of us will, will remember. But there are um, two symbols on this kit where um, they're very similar and the colors that were picked. And I don't think you picked this. I think your supplier did. Basically, it can at times be a bit hard to differentiate between the two symbols because they're two very similar colors. So later, I'll send you a photo to show you so that maybe for the future kits, they'll change those symbols so that it's a little easier to, um, to tell the difference. No biggie. It doesn't take away my enjoyment of working on the kit. It just needs means that when I work on those symbols, I have to like pause and be very like methodical about what I do. Nobody is perfect unless you're a perfectionist. Exactly. Okay, and did I get all of that? I think so. Sweet. Speaking of symbols and criticism. <laughs> Here's my impulsive thought. Should I eat this plastic thing? I'm not going to, but like, should I? 
Looks like I could chew on it. Someone in the VIP group posted about how the T looked too much like the F symbol in their kit and they were similar colors. And someone else commented, I swear they do it on purpose. What? No, they don't. Was it in D? Oh, yeah. They don't, my guy. Right, Tiffany? It's so, I, oh, it's so beautiful. Thanks, Jade. Maybe I can, maybe on the sticker it'll show better. Okay, I'll hold up to the camera. So there's this symbol. Oh my God, how do I do this? This one and these two. Well, that shows really well. So these two are very similar colors, 939 and 823. And those are the symbols right here. And um, they just so happen to usually be the symbols used for like the, the line art portions of the kit. And so most of the time they're like pressed right up next to each other. The VIP group has some interesting characters. That group has gotten on my last nerves. I don't blame you, Tiffany. I don't even check that group. I'm only there solely so I can be a part of the voting polls that they have. And I'm laughing because I personally go over each and every sticker sheet to try to catch any symbols colors that are too similar so we can switch them out. Oh my god, Kate. Kate, how are you not perfect? We need to judge your character because of, of a simple mistake. <laughs> eat it? Perfect. Who will pay me to eat this? Well, at least... Well, at least if you get any wrong, no one will be able to tell C. No, exactly. But it doesn't really matter in the end. It's just like, I feel like someone would complain and kind of be annoying about it. Like you haven't eaten drills live before. Remember when I would do shots while eating drills? Wasn't that a time? I'm just checking Instagram now. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go down the rabbit hole of Instagram. Oh, I just remember I didn't get a photo. Oh, okay. Sorry. Again, my brain's just working in three different directions at once. Okay. What was happening? <laughs> T and F just don't look much alike to me, I guess. It's like... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Do they look alike to me? I feel like it makes more sense to say that they look alike if it were like the lowercase T and the lowercase F. Maybe? I don't know. They always think those symbols together are no biggie. I'm like, dude, those are similar. They are. They're super similar. Because it'd be one thing if, like, one of them was a dark brown and the other one was, like, a hot pink. But, like, no, we got dark blue and, like, gray or whatever it was. Oh, it's right here. It's a dark... Very dark blue and almost black color. But it's fine, Jade. The VIP group goes back and forth for me, too. This voting round, though, it's been a while since there have been images that I really hope make it through. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I did a... Um, the last time I voted. But, um... Yeah, liter like I said, I'm literally only here for the voting. And then I still have to, like have my friends like Kate or um Kate or Katie remind me when they're up and then even then I'll be lazy I'll be like can you can you break the rules and send me the link <laughs> and they allegedly may or may not send me the link listen guys I'm just lazy and that's okay oh 
Um, okay. So now I'm working on one of the similar colors and I literally have to like, it's really hard to multi-place because I have to like triple check that I'm not placing it on the wrong, on the wrong symbol. Oh, this is so cute. It's Sonic. I've never played a Sonic game, but I know who he is. He's a little hedgehog. And he goes very fast. That's all you, I think that's all you really need to know to understand who Sonic is. <laughs> Unless we're talking about like the hamburger place. Do you guys have Sonic um, restaurants or fast food joints wherever you guys are? Because I remember, um, I don't know why, but like Sonic was a place where I'd only go to eat whenever I was visiting my my aunt in um, Washington State. I don't even know if, I'm pretty sure they probably had some in California, but maybe I was just a dumb child and didn't realize that they existed in places other than just Washington State. But I loved it because of the novelty of having, um, you know, the drive-in or what's it called? Like drive-in food? And they bring you the food and they're wearing roller skates. Do they still do that? Or is that like a thing way in the past? And is the food even good? Because I don't remember. I feel like they look different on the stickers and then hours of staring at the canvas makes the symbol start looking similar if the colors are close. Oh, okay, Nyx, thanks. I've never played a Sonic game. Yeah, I'm a fake gamer. Oh, wait, did they, Kate? Oh, no. Hi, Maria. We do have Sonic restaurants around here. However, I've only gotten drinks there, not the food. <laughs> oh, New York. Okay. Oh, it's late for you. Well, I mean, not really late for you. But hi. <laughs> In Florida? Okay. Corn. The Sonic corn dogs? I think. What did I get there as a kid when I would eat? Maybe chicken nuggets, because I am a simpleton and I like my chicken nuggies. No skates? Okay. Aw. No roller skates? Oh my god, that was like... That... My little tiny child mind was blown when like they brought out food and they're on roller skates and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, that's so cool. I want to work here when I grow up. No, jellyfish, what the heck? I think it's a hit or miss with food. I love their ice cream, though. I mean, I feel like you can't really, like, be ice cream. That sounds good, ice cream. I don't remember ever seeing a Sonic in Michigan. I should look up to see where the nearest Sonic to me is. The last time I went, they had roller skates, and one almost fell. Oop. That might be why they probably stopped doing that. Happy hour shakes? Hell yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna look up. Nearest Sonic from me. Oh, there's one like, there's one like a six minute drive from me. Let's go. Is that it though? Is that the only Sonic near me? Sonic, well, Oh my god. Where are the Sonics? Okay, let me just type in one. Ah! Sonic Drive-In. Is that the only Sonic? Oh my god, is there just one near me? Oh, that sucks. What if we just go to Sonic? I'm not going right now, but... I just do a live stream. We're like, hey guys, we're going to Sonic. <laughs> Last I knew, they still do skates, but I'm not sure. My sister used to work there, and her friend broke both her elbows. Oh, that's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that sucks. Wow. Do, they, do you get workers' comp then? That probably is why they stopped doing the skates thing. 
That's a cute gimmick, though. But yeah, they probably were like, hmm, we don't want to pay that much money in workers' comp. There's one over by you, too. Okay, perfect. All right, we're going to Katie's house to get Sonic. They do happy hour drinks and slushes for sure. I'm not sure if they still include the shakes. A shake is a drink. Because I know it's te technically just melted ice cream in a cup, but it's a drink. And it should be a happy hour thing. An hour drive? You know what? Worth it, Jesse. <laughs> right, Maria? I love it. It's really pretty, thank you. Um, if you want it, it's linked down below. It's not sponsored or anything, but it's just there if you want it. Cause I'm trying to be a great, a great and with as much sarcasm as possible um, streamer. And I'm just so professional and I'm so good at what I do. So I put it in the description box cause that's what people do when you stream. <laughs> Why do you guys watch me? <laughs> I hope you guys watch me to feel better about yourselves. <laughs> I am loving how Sonic is turning out. I think my original plan was to actually film myself doing the Sonic part in the time lapse, but then I guess I just started working on it on stream instead, but that's fine. Yeah, whenever I... Um, start working on a diamond painting before i even start i figure out which parts of it i'm gonna film so so far i've filmed um myself working on her face um yeah i filmed her face and then i'm gonna film the bag of chips in her lap and then on the right hand side i'm gonna do the film the zelda mega man mario and the mushrooms in the corner and i was kind of thinking to be funny i'd film her feet <laughs> should i film her feet just to be really weird <laughs> that's the type of humor i have did i get i did not get all of them next live stream dp in a sonic drive-thru that's my next video. Diamond painting in a Sonic drive through um, until until they kick me out. <laughs> Workers comp is a pain. Oh yeah. You know who else? I guess what other company has to deal with workers comp all the time, specifically for enter the entertainment department? <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Especially for entertainment, because people just get injured all the time, which is insane, but it's just part of the department. Hi, Mary. I have one right around the corner. Perfect. Let's all go to Sonic at the same time. <laughs> no, we just all go to Sonic. And then we all post on the DA the DAC VIP group a photo of our DAC whips with our Sonic shakes in hand. But don't acknowledge the Sonic shake. Just your whip, but put your sh Sonic shake in the background at a very specific angle. And we all post it at the same time. <laughs> and all the time in our club mods are going to be like, why do we, <laughs> why do they all have Sonic shakes? god yeah maria definitely yeah i don't blame you for the no buy because we're all i think we're all in the same boat right now yes her feet <laughs> i'm gonna film the feet okay perfect <laughs> all right <gasps> jesse <laughs> sorry that was so loud jesse Mar she said mario looks like he's looking up her night shirt <laughs> it does oh my god Perfect. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Cheryl. Yep. We're doing it. <laughs> right, Kate? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That'd be so funny. 
and so stupid at the same time. Okay, also, for those of you who are working and lurking, can you just send an emoji? Any emoji will do. That way I know that you're here and I can acknowledge your presence. <laughs> thank you maria have a good sleep and thanks for hanging out with us <gasps> kate oh my god people are here madison yes Chantel. casey Diamonds with Mary, Hun Bun. Hello. Oh, those are really cute. Alyssa, I just finished kidding up Darkwood Faye. Oh, that's nice. Jordan, hello. I feel like once I... Oh, yeah. The color I'm working on right now is 939, and it's really making Sonic come together right now. He's so cute. Oh. I think once I do the face, too, it'll look really good. And then once I finish this section, I'll zoom it out so that we can see what it looks like. We still got a little bit to go before I finish it, so I'll just keep plucking away at it. But yeah, let's see. The section I'm working on, I think... I'm, like, almost to the halfway mark on this kit. Because this, um, this section I'm working on is the first section of this row. Also, are there... Okay, I haven't been really paying much attention to, like diamond painting um slash cross stitch youtube stuff in a hot minute are there any like newer diamond painting channels that you guys like watching um i'm gonna be honest i'm pretty picky with who i watch um and i'm not sure i really like watching videos or people who um and it's no shade to anyone specifically, but like, I like YouTube YouTube channels that aren't just unboxing videos. Um, I like seeing post reviews, um, mainly just post reviews, or even like, I guess yeah, or or like um, like whip parades or finish parades. And I know those types of videos are, you know, hard to come by, because you know, finishing a project does take a while to do. But I, I want to find more um, people to watch. So if there's anyone that you guys like to watch, feel free to link them. Or not link them, but well, maybe at least type the channel name. Because you won't be able to link it if you're not a mod. So there's a couple symbols of the last color that I was doing that I missed and I'm just gonna put the 939 on top because it's fine. Hello from Japan. Hi Berta. Oh I, I need to catch up. Cindy. Alexis of course. Lee. I am not here. <laughs> Thanks Lee. Yes, Nyx. I, I blame um, Katie for so many of my diamond painting related purchases.
what's YouTube notifying me? Oh, Mike! Hi, Mike! I like YouTube videos where they do super long DP with me videos because I like the ASMR and I also like um, when they talk about random stuff because they can put it on the background while you work or draw. Yeah, sorry, I my brain farted. I feel like, I don't know, I, I need to like give, excuse me, um, give watching whipping chats, like diamond painting whipping chats, like a, a try again, like not doing them. I've never done them, but like watching them. I'm just very particular about who I listen to. I want to read my notification. Hello? Oh, I like to watch, this is not crafting related, but I like to watch um, CLR Bruce Rivers, Criminal Lawyer, Lawyer Reacts. I watch every single one of his videos. I just love that man. He's a daddy. <laughs> I am subscribed to 62 channels and only faithfully watch almost 12. I'm the same way. I have like so many people I'm subscribed to and I only watch them every so often. I'm also really picky, too. We're all the same. Berta! The Diamond Stitcher. I've heard of, I think I've heard of the Diamond Stitcher. Am I subscribed to them? Oh, wait, is that, isn't that Elisa? Let me look. I'm just so good at getting myself distracted. The Di... I like that thumbnail I made for the stream. It's cute. The diamond. Oh my god. Hello. Yeah, that's Elisa. Nice. Oh, nice. She's over a thousand subs. Good for her. Okay. Um, who else? We're all a bunch of enablers, really. Exactly, Katie. Saying my brain farted was so much funnier to me than <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't even realize it, that I said it that way. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. BuzzFeed Unsolved. Oh, welcome back, Jade. I thought you just abandoned me. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not Legal Eagle Guy. It's, um, hold on. Let me find him. It's Bruce Rivers. I love Bruce Rivers. He's a daddy. Oh. I'm sorry, Berta. I hope you do get to finish that color <laughs> before you go sleepies. No, it's Bruce Rivers. I don't, I've heard of Legal Eagle, but I don't think I've watched them before. But Bruce Rivers, daddy. <laughs> okay, now did I get all this color? I did. <laughs> okay, now we're doing this one. Do, do, do. Um, let's see. Oh, like 30 minutes ago, I mentioned uh, a Chippendale kit that I have from Jada Gem Shop. Um, Kate, oh, Jade, the Chippendale kit that you gave me because she gave me, she gave me this kit for free because, um, she loves me but <laughs> did you order that one specifically for me like as a custom or is it one that you're eventually going to list on your shop because if it's available i'd like to link it for people because i'm sure people who when they see it are gonna are gonna want it <laughs> The same for you, Paige. Lawn Crime. Oh, Lawn Crime's really good, too. 
We'll see you in court case. <laughs> yes, Nyx. I also watch body cam footage. Like, my YouTube, um, what do you call it? Uh, like, my homepage, whenever it refreshes, it's basically just, like, code blue cam body watch, like, police body cam or whatever. Like, I love watching that stuff. I love... Whenever I feel bad about myself, watching people having really, I mean, not have, not, okay, watching people have really bad days doesn't necessarily make me feel better, but it's watching people make dumb mistakes of their own doing that makes me feel better about myself. Because I could be having a crappy day, but at least I didn't run over someone with my car because I was driving drunk, you know? It's like one of those, it could be worse. I, I could be snorting, snorting things in the back of a dumpster. And then, I don't know. You know, it could be worse. My examples aren't making sense, but you know. Dear God. Because, <laughs> oh, you got it because you love me. Jade loves me. It'll come out for Christmas. Ah, it does look Christmas to me, too. Shut up, Katie. <laughs> Katie. Oh, my God. All right. Can I show it, Jade? Or do you want me do you want to wait? Or do you not care? She's probably not going to care. I think we all get what you mean. It makes a dad. Yeah, exactly, Nyx. I watch a lot of police chase videos for that reason. Yeah, why do people run from the police? I don't think they th are using their brain when they make that decision. Because you're going to get caught. And it's going to turn whatever misdemeanor you had into a felony just like that. But it's so entertaining to watch. Body cam footage again, just more proof. Same for you, Paige. They must see us watch these diamond painted videos and the algorithm says they'll like people getting arrested. These people seem unstable. Maybe they'll like watching other unstable people. No, same, Jade. I feel the same way. You cannot outrun a radio. Exactly. Or you can't even outrun the police helicopters because those helicopters are insane at keeping track of whoever they want to keep track of. My excuse to complain is that, yeah, it could be worse, but it also could be better. Like I could be on a private jet drinking sparkling water. I mean, you're not wrong, Totoro. <laughs> Tell me why my phone is saying you are broadcast to a TV in my house, but I don't have a TV like that here. <laughs> Your phone's like, you know what? Get a TV. Upgrade your setup. Okay, I can show it. All right, I'm going to finish this color. And then I'm going to show it to you guys. Because I need to get distracted at least every 10 minutes. Because it wouldn't be... A Christiane stream if I weren't getting distracted every 10 minutes. Okay, let's see. It's, it's looking really good. I like how I'm like t tilting my head to look at it on screen when it's right in front of my face. But it looks really good. Also, question for you guys. Whenever you're working on a diamond painting, do you ever look at the colors that you're working with? You know, the ones that come with the kit. And do you ever just, for every kit that you work on, decide which color is your favorite one because i i do that 
And I think my favorite color in this kit is 820. Look at that. Blue. I can't. There we go. Look how pretty that is. I really like my royal blues. And this color, I want to eat it. I'm not going to, but I want to. You broadcasting C to a neighbor. <laughs> Your neighbors are like, who the hell is this? <laughs> you know, Jesse, I feel like that would be a terrifying jump scare. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Some good and relaxing content of someone talking about how much they enjoy police chases. <laughs> yes, Cad, work on a JGS kit. Wait, Tiffany, you write down your favorite and least favorite colors for all of your kits in your logbook. I love that. Same Totoro, same. Exactly, you get it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay. I, no, I, I, wanna, I was going to show you guys the, the Chippendale kit. Let me get it. Oh, come here. It's right next to me. Oh. I had my phone in my lap. I forgot, so I just I threw it to the ground. I'm sure my neighbors love me. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you do the color thing, Jade. You need to look in the camera and say, hey, neighbor. Oh, I've never seen Mr. Rogers. I think I want, I want to watch the, um, the, I forgot what it's called, but the, the Mr. Rogers movie that came out where Tom Hanks plays Mr. Rogers. I don't know which one. I don't know what it's called. Probably like a day, a day in the neighborhood. Okay. Um... I'm just gonna hold up the image of the sticker for you guys. You ready for this? Look at the babies! Look how cute they are! Oh, babies, they're so cute! Ah, never seen cries and old. You're not old. You're just older than me. <laughs> I pick a favorite too. My current kit made me change my favorite about three quarters of the way through. Too much pink. <laughs> too much pretty art, but the pink is killer. I've never watched Mr. Rogers. Nope. Oh, the movie was good, Cad? Cool. The boys. I always make you feel old. Listen, I don't know how old you are, Kate, but I'm... I'm about to turn 26. Oh my god. I graduated. What? You're. Okay. Obviously. Oh, I don't know what I was going to say. Anyways, look how cute it is. I love it. I've only seen the PBS version of Mr. Rogers with the Tigers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the cartoon. Um, what's it called? I know what you're talking about. I'm just uncultured. Listen, you're probably right. You're not old. I'm just a baby. I mean, it's true. Look at it. Look at the babies. Oh, your baby. They're so cute. This one's my favorite because he's Dale. And we love Dale. Chip, I could care less about. But we love Dale. Ah, Jesse. I could probably be your mom. I don't know about that, Kate. I don't believe it. My youngest child is older than you. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's it, Totoro. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. It's Picasso, you uncultured swine. Cad, <laughs> you are not 30. I thought you were younger than me for some reason. Who's texting me? Oh, it's Jade.
What am I? Why, why did you t Why? Jay just sent me a screenshot of what's happening. <laughs> oh, you're showing me the broadcast thing. I get it. Oh my god. If it makes you feel better, I'm younger than you. Hepa, hepa, have you seen Mr. Rogers? Because if you have, then I'm going to feel even more uncultured. Lee, you're like, I know, I know you're older than 40, but we're going to say you're 40 years old. And that's still young. Okay, my mom, how old's my mom? She's in her mid-60s. So... So, yeah, I don't know what I was going with that, but what quote? Yes, I do know that quote. I do not. I, I know that quote, Cooter. Yeah, 50 is, well, <laughs> I don't think 50 is, okay, I don't think 50 is old, but I don't think it's young. It's like mid. Oh my God. A very naughty kid. Oh my god, Kate. Oh, Cad, congrats. Can I come live in your house? You have not seen Mr. Rogers? Okay, see? This is fine. What? Okay, what channel did Mr. Rogers play on? Oh, Lee, yeah, see, you're good. You're fine. My mom's old, older than you, so you're not old. She is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Cheryl, are you like. Maybe Cheryl's the closest to my mom's age. Is it bad that I don't remember how old my mom is? Or my dad? I'm a really good child, apparently. <laughs> oh, PBS. Oh, yeah. I didn't watch really. Really watch PBS. I was a Nickelodeon kid. Does it does it show? I feel like Nickelodeon kids are crackheads. Okay. Oh man. Good night, Berta. I almost called you Burba. <laughs> Burba. Perfect. Oh my god, Jade. Wait, really, Jade? Oh my god. You were nine? What? I'm a Disney kid. Okay, so I watched Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel, but I primarily watched Nickelodeon. All right. This is your reminder to drink your water, guys. A Nick kid working at Disney. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep. Told you. Crackhead energy. What, Nix? I didn't know that. Disney has been chain streaming all of the Halloween Town movies on YouTube and I'm all for it. Oh, cool. Remembering their age is less important than remembering their birthday. I know both of their birthdays, so I'm not that bad of a daughter. <laughs> Treehouse and YTV. What? Treehouse? What's YTV? Huh? Oh, that's right. Canada. Okay. Um. Now we're going to do light brown. Watch Cartoon Network, Disney, and Nick. Also watched PBS after school because I would go to my grandma's and she didn't have cable back in those days. Oh, We love grandma without the cable. Oh, okay, Cad. Fifth grade? Oh my god, Jade. 
No thanks. Oh my god, I did miss a color. Cool. I also just realized that um, a diamond painting shop that I haven't checked on in a while is um, um, Paint Gem. Because I want to... I want to, um, oh my god, what was I going to say? I want to do another one of those kits. Because I did the mystery one that Katie gave me for my birthday, but I didn't make a video on it. Because that was during one of my breaks. I think it'd be fun to get one of those paint gem kits and um, torture myself by trying to do the whole thing in one day because um, I'm insane and I like to challenge myself because for whatever reason that sounds like fun. Or I get one of those kits and I live stream myself working on the whole thing. And I'm like, and during the live stream, I'm like, I'm not going to stop the live until I finish the kit. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, Nick at night. Oh my God. Nick at night. I loved George Lopez. <laughs> Nick's. Oh my God. I remember waking up in the middle of the night to either a cowbell or the nanny theme song as a child. I don't think, um, like, I think you haven't really fully experienced, um, the Nick at night, um, middle of the night scare until you wake up at, like, 2 a.m. to the George Lopez theme song playing. Like, you wake up on the couch it's 2 a.m. and George Lopez is jumping on a trampoline right in front of your eyes on TV. Burnout sounds like a party. See, Cooter? I'm so smart. I'm so quirky and smart and great at things. <laughs> oh, really, Cheryl? Okay. Yep, Jesse, <laughs> exactly. I've been debating on getting a mini kit and whether it would travel on a plane in a backpack well, something in my hotel downtime. I know um, Katie took one, um, took a paint gem kit with her and worked on it on the plane ride that she was on. And she got like asked by, I think a few people on the plane, including like a flight attendant, like what it was. And she said it worked out really well. She just, um, she didn't bring like a toolkit or anything. She just used um, whatever came in the paint gem kit. And she said it worked great. Oh, see, there you go. Cad did it. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna open up a window or what do you call it? My sliding glass door so I can let the cold air in because it's pretty stuffy in here. I don't work on it on the plane though. I'm way too clumsy for that. <gasps> yes, Ashley, oh my God. I just had a flashback back to the childhood. And like, it was always the really, it was the loudest commercial and the longest commercial. It's like a six minute long commercial. At least that's what it felt like. 
Are you serious, Winter? Oh my god, that's the best. Oh my god. Yeah, Cad, I would want to bring my own tools too, because I'm picky nowadays. She's like the wind. <laughs> oh my god. I also remember waking up after watching Cartoon Network while falling asleep. And I just, I remember waking up to, um, it was when, you know, Cartoon Network transitions to Adult Swim. And little nine-year-old Christiane woke up to watching a very graphic scene in Robot Chicken playing. And it was a scene involving the 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 bear of that laundry detergent what is it called hold on laundry detergent bear Oops. the snuggle bear the snuggle bear and it was robot chicken and it was a very weird an incredibly awful <laughs> scene in robot chicken our core memory is a greatest hits commercial. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Winter. The snuggle bear. No. <laughs> oh my god. Is robot chicken like still like not like a thing, but like, are they still making new episodes or whatever? That show is like all types of messed up. If you guys have never seen it, you're not missing out. I promise you, it's so bad. Um, boop. So now I'm working on the, the vines of the plant. I also need to scoot my chair up closer because I realized I forgot to bring it back up to the desk. The trays in the paint gem kit seem to always be crooked, but the DSE trays still fit nicely in the tool kit and then I just stick one of my pens in the box good to go. There you go. I don't need to buy more diamond paintings but I do love me my paint gem stuff. Okay, I'm gonna open up a window. Looks like the last season was 2021, which is much longer than I would have ever guessed. Oh, wow. Okay, so good, it is over. The hell is over. Hi, Blaze. 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 Do you want to come say hi? Blaze. Oh, I think he's going to come up. Blaze. Here he is. Hey. Hello. Hi, baby. You get to see Blaze's butt. Blaze. Yeah. Hey, baby. You're a little stinky. You can't see it, but his fur is floating right now because I just pet him. I feel like nobody remembers the old show Zoom. Zoom? I don't know if I know that show. Cyber Chase? What's Cyber Chase?
Adult Swim was some of the most unhinged TV ever. It was. Does Adult Swim still exist? I mean, it probably does because they probably still air, like, shows like American Dad and um, Family Guy and stuff like that. But I wonder what, like, they're doing now. Because didn't Adult Swim, like, host um, Rick and Morty? Probably. Adult Swim is why I didn't like Nick so much as a kid. <laughs> I want more kits, but I haven't DP'd in a month. Oh, Jade. Guys, Jade has been going through, like, so much crap. So please send her some love. Jade, you need to come over so we can diamond paint so that you can hopefully just exhale a little bit. You, what? You were on the show, Nyx? Oh, that's cool. Wait, which one? Oh, it's this one. I don't, yeah, I don't know Cyber Chase. What is Jackie Chan Adventures? I don't know what either of those things are, but that's really cool. Okay, next. Is Cyber Chase like a Canada thing? Because that would explain a lot. Because I'm not a Canada. I'm not a Canada. That makes sense. <sighs> you know what? That's fine. We're going to just work with that. I hate the ads YouTube does in lives now. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I meant to turn off lives mid stream and I didn't so that's my bad you YouTube gives me so much power like I can like pick specifically when I want the ads to go off but Every ad that you guys suffer through, I get some money. So thank you for the money. <laughs> oh, it's PBS. That's why. Okay. Yeah, I see now. Don't jump out the window. <laughs> Come jump out of my window. Because it's only like a few feet off the ground. <laughs> Still. Well, Jade, I mean, you are like only like one foot tall. So that would be a pretty high jump for you. Lays, are you a baby? I love how in my last video, Blaze was just like behind me the entire time. Little baby. Don't worry, I just checked the lineup and they're still playing Robot Chicken reruns. Oh good, because we can't live without Robot Chicken reruns. Perfect, and then do you guys see how like the image just comes together as they finish each color? Like oh, I'm I'm truly obsessed with how it looks. I love working on this kit every single day when I come home from work. Right now, I've been basically doing my cross stitch pattern um, or working on the my cross stitch when I'm at work. I bring that with me to work because it's a lot easier for me to take um, that type of project to Disney. And then um, I work on that and then on my days off, I'll start the day off by cross stitching with my coffee and then um and then when I come home from like work I will um work on my diamond painting and try to do at least one or two sections a day and yeah because so, so this section that I'm working on is the first section that I've done 
today because I spent the majority of the day either um, working on my cross stitch or playing my video game. My teacher would put it on when we made fresh bread. Oh, that's so cool. My in-laws just gave us the mail that they had put away and my bank's warning was in there. The Jade? Are you serious? Oh my god, they're closing the other two accounts as well? Well, at least you now you know so you can do something about it, but that's... Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Jade. What? I'm, I don't know what to say. That is awful. Basically, Jade's bank closed two of her um, bank accounts. And she didn't know that that was going to happen until it happened today. So that money... She doesn't have right now. Okay. Nothing wrong with being short. Yeah, she's very tiny <laughs> well, I don't know well I guess Jade got the notice about them being closed so maybe the reason the official reason is stated in those warnings but yeah that's insane Like, of course, I'm sure the bank is going to send Jade a cashier's check for that money. But it's like, what is she supposed to do in the meantime? Like, I didn't realize banks can just close accounts like that. It's still in the letter doesn't say why. What the hell? <laughs> Are you serious? What? What is wrong with your bank? That's so, that's all kinds of messed up. Choosing my words carefully. <sighs> I'm sorry, Jade. That's, it's just, yeah. Okay. Sorry, my brain is just blown by that situation yeah good for you for just hopping on to keep going and to fix what your bank did but it's, it's so stupid it's ridiculous And plus, that's a lot of money that's not in your possession at the moment. That is so ridiculous. 
Can I just nap forever? Honestly, same. I'll nap with you. Okay, Kate. Yeah, it shouldn't be allowed, right, Cooter? Yeah. Because, oh my god. <sighs> I'm getting heated over that. Don't take my money. Don't. I was, I was about to say, don't take my money's friend. Don't take my friend's money. No. Yeah, Cheryl. Kate, not Kate. Jade is awesome. I mean, so is Kate, but... Yeah, I don't blame you, Jade. I would be too. So hopefully, whoever watches this live stream, like whoever watches it later, once it's not live anymore, hopefully it will go to the link in the description below and buy this kit. Or if not this kit, maybe they will go and peruse Jade's shop and purchase one or two kits because look at this quality I love the rounds it's my first round drill kit that I've done from her and it's beautiful and I've had no issues with it other than the symbol thing and that's not even an issue really Sorry, Jade sent me a photo of what the letter said, and it's so dumb. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see how his face turns out. Oh, oh, I also just cracked my back. That felt really good. Oh, Jade. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, I heard credit unions are a bit more reliable. And they might actually try to contact you other than mail. I have, um, what was I going to say? There was a credit union, um, or is, it still exists, but there's a credit union, um, where I used to live and I guess they were having, um, a promotion where they wanted to get more people using their, um, services. So they had like a deal where um, if you signed up during the, the specific time period that they were doing this deal, um, your, I forgot what it's called, but the percentage where you earn money um, was, it's like a real, I think it was like a, it's a really high percentage of how much money you'd earn each year. I don't know if I forgot if it was like APR if that's the term and 
the percentage was a lot higher compared to other places. So and I think it capped at a certain amount of money. So if you opened an account with them and put a certain amount of money in your account, then you could um, get a good deal on earning some money by just letting it sit there. So that's what I did. So I have an account that I put a lot of money in <laughs> and I don't touch it. And I haven't looked at that account since, but every so often I get um, statements from them saying how much I've earned. And that's, it's such a cool feeling seeing it grow. So maybe you can find a credit, credit union, Jade, that has a good deal like that. Oh, okay, Nick. That's good to know. Interest rate. Thank you. Let me look it up. Hold on. Um, typical. Ah, sorry. Interest rate. I think when I signed up, I think the interest rate for the specific credit union, like the deal was like 5% interest rate, which is pretty good. Okay, next. So it's kind of like one of the situations where they can and are allowed to do that, but it still isn't very cool of them to do so. Banks are just annoying in general. <laughs> Is this why there are those like jokes or cartoons of like people just ha put keeping their money in a mattress or underneath their mattress? And also, did you guys know that Disney has their own? Um, credit union specifically for um, cast members and there is a um, a branch backstage at Disneyland <laughs> Okay, perfect. That. We're almost done. I missed a color with this one, so I'm just gonna go in there with this. Boop. Um, all right, I'll do this one next. Yeah, this was a pretty decent um, live stream in terms of length. There you go, Jade. Maybe you'll find a, a much better bank. Disney has a lot of secret stuff for their employees, good employer or not. According to some, it is all super interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I I like working with Disney so far. <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, it's weird, Jade. My mom worked with a former cast member that hated it. 
that's the funny thing is like when you go to Disney, like any of the parks, and you you can just tell which cast members hate it there and which don't. Stash said I should just keep your money in a safe. I mean, I don't blame you or blame him for saying that. Just keep it in a safe and your dogs can guard it. <gasps> Yay, Tiffany. What are you working on, Tiffany? To be fair, she wanted desperately to be friends with the princess and was cast on rotation as friends with the dwarf. I'm sure she did the job well, but I get it. Oh, see, I, no matter which role I get, I love it no matter what. There are some CMs that I am aware of who have that same type of mentality and they're super miserable <laughs> because they want a position that is very hard to get and it makes them really despise the current role that they have um and it, but it really shows when they are at work and they're constantly complaining that they're doing one specific thing but not the other where is the one symbol i'm looking for hello where i know i have it oh my god this is so funny where did i put that symbol oh there it is okay oh your job job so no one use U.S. Bank, please and thank you. Perfect. We will boycott U.S. Bank. But I am also working on Haunted by, I think this is Rita Konya. So you're working and diamond painting at the same time. See, that's... um. That's multitasking. A YouTuber I have watched for years went to Disney with his girlfriend in a video to meet with his, her sister. It would be an unreal experience meeting your sister as Mulan, right? That'd be cool. I know um, Jade met my friend Doug from Up. And then Katie and Kate, who's Pixie Sticks, um, they both met my friend Dale. And they and they said they had a lot of fun doing that. Okay. Um there it is this one. Okay, so then we're gonna do, oh my God, we're so close. This one is X. You, um. dropped a drill in my tray there you go Oop. and I grabbed a hair along with that and then we got four more drills and okay last one for this section there we go. Yay. Okay. 
let's see if I can zoom this out. Yes, Tiffany is engaged to Dale. Dale should unbox a diamond painting. <gasps> That'd be funny. He should, honestly. With his with his four fingers. Well, I'm, there we go. Four fingers <laughs> and his fuzzy, um, fuzzy paws. Does Dale have paws? I don't know. She worked Disney Paris for a while and then moved over to Japan. It's so hard to not spend my paycheck at Disney Nicks. I work from home, so I get to diamond. That's what I did, Tiffany, when I worked from home. <laughs> exactly, Nix. And yeah, Tiffany and Dale are engaged. They're going to get married. <gasps> Look how good that looks. Oh, it really comes together when you zoom out. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you can see my thighs. Hold on, let me see if you can see this. At the very top, there's Dale. Probably really hard to see. <laughs> oh. And this right here is just old. My desk is stained from with paint. That's fine. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Thanks, Cad. Also, I don't think I showed you guys my diamond painting pen. It's my Chippendale pen. I am obsessed with it. Oh, it looks so good. I'm just admiring it on camera because the camera makes it really pull together. But yeah. The section that I did was like like this size it's, it's all wet but i say this is a good size um section to do on a live stream when i'm not live streaming of course i can get it done much faster but it doesn't matter when i'm live streaming how fast i do it so then later on i don't know if i'll do another section tonight after the stream but It'll be this one right here. I think I... No, I did not. i um been using my X-Acto blade to cut out the sections so that I can just peel it back. Um, but I haven't sliced off the vertical line to make my next section. But ah, I love it. It's unfortunate that you're work that you are working on this kit, though. My internal mantra this stream, I do not need this kit. I think you do. I think maybe not now, but I think you eventually do need this kit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, Lee's going to bed, so I'm going to leave <laughs> and end the stream. So thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I did not finish my coffee, so that's fine. I'll just chug it and then stay up all night. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and for hanging out. And... I'll do it again soon. I don't know when, but soon. Why is my hand so wrinkly? Ew. Anyways, bye, guys.